In this video, we're gonna install and test uh, Garmin's new beta software for the Forerunner 945. This is version 2.64, released the 15th of July, and it's a pretty significant release because it's added the ability to enable wrist-based heart rate for swimming. That means if you go in the pool or during open water swimming, you can have the wrist HR activated. Two things to note at the start of the video. One, this is beta software, so if you choose to install it, do so at your own risk. Secondly, my data sample using this software is way too small to make any judgment on whether it's working properly or not. So this video is about installing the software, showing you how it's working in action and doing some small comparisons to other watches. To install the software, follow Garmin's instructions that I will link below. Once you've done that, you can press and hold the left middle button scroll down to wrist heart rate and you have a new menu option for while swimming if you push that you will see a text saying that for the best swim hr use an hrm try or hrm swim heart rate belt so even though garmin has enabled the feature of wrist based heart rate while swimming for the most accurate readings do use one of the two heart rate belts after the feature is turned on we can go into the open water activities menu and there you will see your heart rate enabled. So this is my test setup. I'm using the HRM Tri with the Phoenix 5 and a Forerunner 735 XT with the HRM Swim. Then I have the 945 on the wrist. So what I did for this first look uh, at this new feature was to put on uh, these three watches and two heart rate belts and uh, I went for two 10 minute swims open water to uh, make some comparisons in terms of the heart rate. So as you can see, when you put the 945 on the water, in the open water activity, it will still read heart rate. So let's have a look at the results. This is from the first swim, and uh, just a note here, for all the comparisons, I'm using the DC Raymaker Analyzer. In the chart, the light blue line is the 945 wrist base HR. And as you can see, both uh, HRM Swim and HRM Try belts are tracking each other extremely closely throughout the 10 minute swim. The 945 uh, wrist base, it's uh, pretty much higher all the time. And although it does get closer after about five minutes, still the average is around 20 beats per minute higher than the two heart rate belts. Let's look at the second swim and the results are pretty much the same about 20-25 beats per second difference throughout uh, the 10 minute swim except from the start. As a last step in this uh, first look comparison after the swim I went for a short run and I'm still using here the HRM try, the HRM swim and the 945 wrist base heart rate and as you can see in uh, a run activity these three watches track each other extremely close. So just to summarize this first look at the new feature, this is still beta software, so if you choose to install it, do so at your own risk. Secondly, as you saw, my data sample is uh, very small, so I will continue doing testing. If there are any other out there who has tested the software, please uh, share your experiences in the comments. Thirdly, as Garmin says, there are some inherent limitations that will still make a risk based heart rate less accurate than a heart rate belt such as the HRM Try or HRM Swim. But still, I think this is a pretty cool feature, long awaited, and although in my small sample the wrist based HR was higher than from the belts, I think it will be very interesting to do more testing and to follow any further betas that becomes available. Hope this video was useful, take care.